question, if you have CKD and your goal is to improve your kidney health, what is the best natural antioxidant source you can find? Antioxidants are a must for your kidneys because they can actually improve your kidney function. But which antioxidant-rich food is actually the best, the number one when it comes to helping your kidneys? Maybe a super healthy berry as blueberry, or maybe a nut such as walnut, or is it a leafy veggie such as this beautiful red cabbage, or is it green tea, or maybe red wine? Which one is the best one? If you know the answer, write it down in the comment section. Catherine here, I'm a doctor in natural medicine and a researcher in the field of kidney health. We are living through an age I will describe as that of the antioxidant revolution. A recent discovery changed everything in the treatment for kidney disease. Science was recently able to prove that antioxidants are capable of actually improving your kidney function. They are one of the few they are one of the very few nutrients we can reliably consider a way to improve, actually. So we know today that eating antioxidant-rich foods is a must for anyone wanting to improve their kidney health. And while most of the foods in this list are great for your diet, only one is the winner. Only one is the richest in antioxidants. So which one of these foods on the left of the screen is going to be your best friend when it comes to improving your kidney function? Is it blueberry or walnut or red cabbage? Or is it green tea? Or maybe red wine? If you know the answer, write it down in the comment section. Now guys, in today's video, we are also going to see which ones of these foods and beverages are healthy for you and which ones are better avoided. So let's start immediately and see which one is going to win. First entry here is blueberry. And let me tell you one thing. This is a solid contender, a very solid one. I recommended this food several times here in Double Okini. It has a ton of health benefits. First of all, blueberries contain no protein and very little calories. On the other hand, they are packed with fiber, vitamins, and most importantly, antioxidants. Thanks to these nutrients, blueberries have been linked to improved blood sugar control in people with diabetes, but also lower cholesterol levels and even improved blood pressure. This last benefit seems to be in particular produced by two of the several types of antioxidants blueberries contain anthocyanins that are what causes blueberries to be actually blue, and also by quercetin. Both anthocyanins and quercetin are being studied for their ability of lowering blood pressure. But again, the main benefits these antioxidants have is to protect and actually improve your kidney function. And guys, there are no doubts that blueberries are super healthy. They are a food I would recommend to anyone but we are trying to find the best food today. The number one. How can we tell if this food is the winner? Well, you know, antioxidants in foods are measured in millimoles, all right? In order to know how much antioxidant power a food has, we need to look at this number. So blueberries have up to nine millimoles of antioxidants per 100 gram or 3.5 ounces. And that's a lot. To give you some perspective, apples have 0.5 millimole of antioxidants per 100 grams and spinach have 0.9 millimole. So, is this our winner? Well, nope. Blueberries are awesome. But you are not really going to eat 3.5 ounces of them every day, are you? That will get very expensive. People usually consume blueberries sparingly. This is why the blueberry is not the winner. So let's take a look at the food that's a lot cheaper and that you can eat with abundant every day. So this is one of the veggies with the greatest antioxidant content. It's an incredibly versatile vegetable that can be enjoyed raw, cooked or fermented and added to a variety of dishes, which is great because you can really eat a lot of red cabbage every day without problems. But 
Should you? Well, all cabbages are great additions to a well-planned kidney diet. They all have kidney protecting health benefits while being very low in calories and protein. They all contain lots of fiber. And red cabbage is even better than other types of cabbage because you see, what gives this cabbage its color is the incredible amount of antioxidants it contains. Talking about antioxidants, red cabbage is especially rich in vitamin C, carotenoids, anthocyanins, and camphorol. This is why this veg has great benefits to fight inflammation, lower cholesterol, protect the heart, and to help with kidney health in general. But how rich in antioxidants actually is red cabbage? Well, it has 1.4 millimole of antioxidants per 100 grams, which may not seem a lot considering that blueberries have 9 millimoles of antioxidants per 100 grams. But you see, while you will rarely eat 100 grams of blueberries in just one day, you can probably have 2 or 300 grams of red cabbage in a single meal. This veggie is inexpensive, easy to prepare, and it's very filling, ideal for those wanting to lose weight. So it's not unrealistic to have it every day and to get a lot of antioxidants from it. Now guys, both blueberries and red cabbage are amazing. Consider adding both of them to your diet. But red cabbage is not the winner here. Why you may ask? Because I have foods way richer in antioxidants than red cabbage to show you. Let's take a look. Next entry is walnuts. Now, here is yet another superfood that I can easily recommend to everyone. Nuts. Especially walnuts have both antioxidant quantity and efficacy and exhibit significant potential health benefits. This is the title of a study published on the journal Food and Function. But there is a lot more to walnuts than just the antioxidants. You see, walnuts are especially rich in omega-3 fatty acids, essential nutrients linked to a long list of health benefits, more than any other nut. And they also contain healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. Thanks to these nutrients, walnuts have been linked to better heart health, better blood pressure, better gut health, lowered inflammation, improved cholesterol levels, improved body weight, and even diabetes markers. Yeah, it's a really long list of benefits that not many other foods can boast. And of course, many of these benefits are due to the incredible antioxidant content of walnuts. When it comes to antioxidants, walnuts are especially rich in vitamin E, melatonin, and plant compounds called polyphenols. These are found in particularly large amounts in the papery skin of walnuts. Walnuts are also super easy to snack on and absolutely love to have some shelled walnuts ready for when I want to snack. Keep in mind that adding some fat-rich foods such as nuts in general to a meal will slow down sugar absorption, preventing a potential insulin spike. Okay, but now you may ask, what is the amount of antioxidants present in walnuts? Is it more than what you can find in blueberries? Well, yes, it actually is. Not many people know this, but walnuts are two to three times richer in antioxidants than blueberries. Some sources report an incredible amount of 29.31 millimole of antioxidants per 100 grams of nuts. Yes, this is one of the foods with the highest antioxidant content there is. So, do we have a winner? Well, let's see. When it comes to walnuts, it's true that this is a food that contains a huge amount of antioxidants per 100 grams. But you are also not supposed to eat 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of walnuts a day. Because you see, when it comes to walnuts, it's true that this is a food that contains a huge amount of antioxidants per 100 grams. But you are also not supposed to eat 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of walnuts a day because you see, that amount of nuts will give you almost 700 calories, which is way too much coming from a single food item. This would also give you almost 15 grams of protein. Again, way too much for someone with CKD. So if you want the benefits walnuts can offer, your best bet here would be to eat a moderate amount of walnuts per day. What I would recommend here is to eat no more than 4 to 7 walnuts per day. This is why walnuts, albeit extremely healthy, are not our winner for today. Plot twist! Okay, all the foods we have seen are great, but they are not the winner. The winner is going to be one of the two remaining entries, either red wine or green tea. So if you think you know what the right answer is, write it down in the comment section. 
But why is a beverage the best thing there is when it comes to antioxidants? Why, you may ask? Because we actually drink most of our antioxidants. This may come as a surprise, but teas, coffees are better antioxidant sources than any superfood, including berries and walnuts. And the reason is not really the amount of antioxidants these beverages contain per 100 milliliters, but the amount of coffee and teas and wine people drink every day. Studies are even showing that up to 79% of the antioxidant people get every day come from beverages, while only the 21% from foods. This is why our winner for today is going to be a beverage. So which one do you think is richer in antioxidants, red wine or green tea? Well, let's see. So red wine is well known for being rich in many antioxidants. These include resveratrol, calicine, epicalicine, and proanthocyanidins. And these antioxidants can be very healthy. Studies have actually shown that thanks to its antioxidant content, moderate red wine consumption seems to lower the risk of several diseases, including heart disease. Maybe even more interesting, some studies have even linked red wine consumption to better insulin resistance in patients with type 2 diabetes. So we are talking about a beverage that has a lot of potential here. In fact, red wine can have up to 2.5 millimoles of antioxidants per 100 milliliters of beverage. And this may not seem a lot, I mean walnuts have 29 millimoles per 100 grams, but keep in mind that 100 milliliters is about half glass of red wine, alright? And people can easily drink two or three glasses of red wine per day without having any serious health repercussion. So yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Is red wine so healthy that we can disregard the health damage done by its alcohol content? Well, this is what they call the French paradox. French people drink red wine and they have lower levels of coronary heart disease than other countries, so red wine must be healthy, right? No guys, I'm not really sure about that. Yes, red wine is an excellent antioxidant source and it may have health benefits, but my advice here is do not take this risk. Alcohol is very addictive and I absolutely do not recommend drinking red wine. This is why our winner for today is green tea. Green tea has a whooping 3 millimoles of antioxidants per 100 milliliters. And since it's pretty low in caffeine, it's easy to drink even 3 to 5 cups of green tea per day. Now, if you do the math here, someone who drinks 5 cups per day is going to get about 36 millimoles of antioxidants in a single day. No other food comes even close to that. You would need a supplement to do better. And when it comes to antioxidants, green tea is very rich in polyphenols. Most abundant is a catechine called EGCG that has huge health benefits. It helps with heart health, it protects the kidneys, it helps with weight loss, it even improves fasting blood glucose levels in people with diabetes significantly. Now, what not many people know about green tea is that these antioxidants are not very bioavailable. And while they are abundant enough to have significant health benefits, even without being bioavailable, you can add some lemon juice to your tea and make these antioxidants five times more bioavailable. Can you imagine how healthy could this improved green tea be for your kidneys? So consider adding all of the answers of today's video to your diet except for red wine and drink green tea with lemon juice. And guys, if you want to learn about an antioxidant that's so powerful, it even saves people from dialysis, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.